On today's episode of Globe Trotting with Trey, you're going to meet a lady that worked at this theater back on January 3rd, 1956, when Elvis and Johnny Cash was in town. The Vun Theater, Boonville, Mississippi. Stay tuned, you're going to learn some really cool stories. Get your popcorn ready. My name is Sue Bain. At the time that I saw Elvis here in the barn in 1956, I was living uh, in Boonville. My husband ran the uh, projectors and I sold the tickets at the Duran. And that's where I was. And I remember it on a Saturday. But when I checked the uh, later, I saw the schedule schedule that he was it had to be on a tuesday so the, i just the, the date was actually wrong it was january of 1956 and they put 1955 yeah but it was not that, that i realized tuesday, that though, but it was a tuesday and i'm remembering it as a saturday okay so but this has been a lifetime ago <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> before any of the rest of you here were born. <laughs> so, the barn was theater that the Crawfords owned. The Crawfords owned the Duran and the barn. The Duran was the uh, uptown, outstanding theater. The barn was the one that had the... Uh, kind of questionable entertainment sometimes and also personal appearances with quite a few people played here. I remember I came to see Elvis to find out what it was like and I heard him uh, sing Blue Suede Shoes. I don't remember if I saw him before or after I took the telephone call. But I took the telephone call and the uh, operator said it was a person-to-person -person call from uh, Colonel Parker for Elvis Presley. And so I said, I'll have to find him. You know, I have to get him here. He's not at this location. So, um, right after I took that call, uh, Piggy Bonds, who was a DJ at WBIP at the time came in and I said, just the man I need to see, go find Elvis. He said, I didn't handle that, but he was gone and he was gone and he was gone. And when he came back, he said, he'll be here in just a minute. He was found under a bass violin case, as I've told you, empty one in the back seat of his pink Cadillac asleep. So, Elvis came, took the phone call, gave me a signed autograph picture for appreciation. I didn't need that little upstart's picture, so I tore it apart and threw it in the garbage. My daughters don't let me forget that. They'll never forgive me. Mm, never let you forget that. <coughs> so can you remember kind of how the Vaughn looked? The Vaughn, it was a movie theater. Where was the, um, where was, like, where was the screen? The screen was uh, somewhere around where we are. It was here in this area? It was area. here in this area. There was a uh, stage in front of it. So the stage would actually, would have been, I'm going to go, the stage would have kind of been in this area, maybe? It would have been kind of here. Do you remember how people were seated? Yeah, we were seated. We were seated then, yeah, no, just regular theater seats. Mm -hmm. you know, the the yeah, folding down, mm -hmm. typical 
that uh, and, the floor uh, wasn't slanted. The floor was not slanted. No, the floor was straight. Now, why it wasn't slanted, I don't know. But I, I don't know the history of what the barn was before it was a theater. It might have been something else that was converted. That I don't know. But uh, it was two aisles, and I sat on the left side. So you would have sat over there. And Elvis uh, sang. And so the stage probably would have been there. There was a doors that came out from the, by, by the screen somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but uh, they came out from behind. Now, so you see, I don't know if this is cut off if there's this, or if, uh, that we're, uh, for we're about where the stage was. You know, I, I can't, I can't get the part straight. This would be a, this fat part would have been the stage. Okay, so yeah. that this yeah. part but here, where that wall is, straight to the top. Well, he and the performers were behind the screen. There was a room back there for them, and they came out from behind there. So the screen was not here because the screen was face this way here. Okay. Uh, and they, I don't know, I don't remember where the doors were that they came, that the performers came in and out of. That I don't know. I don't remember. I just know that they did. <laughs> so, well, let's go back to at the time that I was working at the barn, and my husband, as I've said before, was running the projectors. We were going to Northeast and school there. And when uh, we graduated, we, I moved on to uh, Memphis State and had got a degree in uh, dietetics. And when I was finished, I worked at uh, the Methodist Hospital as a dietitian. And Elvis's mother was a patient there. And because of the terrible press and all, when they thought he was coming, the whole front of Methods Hospital area was swarmed with fans. So he had a special permission to come in through our delivery door at the back and through uh, the kitchen area of the di and the uh, cafeteria and take our service elevator up to his uh, mother's room so that the fans never knew when he came and when he left. Did you ever see him come? Oh yes, every time he came through I saw him, uh, all of us did. And we just spoke and he went on. We did not stop him. and. He didn't talk to him, but he always held up his hand and spoke to us as he went through. But we respected his visit with his mother and his privacy, and he appreciated it. You met Sam Phillips. I met Sam Phillips twice there toward the end of his life. I met him while I was working in Memphis, and he was a very polite gentleman. He didn't have a lot to say. But, you know, I think at that time, he couldn't really talk. He'd, had, he'd gotten a trach at one point, uh, if I remember right, because this was back in the early 2000s. And the first time I got him, I'm like, Sam, I know that name. I couldn't remember where, where I remembered it from. Somebody had to say, hey, yeah, you know, he was a, over Sun Records. I'm like, yeah, but I've heard that name, and Mama had to remind me. That's she was the reason why I heard his name before because of Elvis. But where I worked, they had to they had him under a disguised name to keep people from coming in and seeing him. So that was it was very interesting. 
and the people that would come. But were you here when it was the end? I was here when uh, Elvis uh, performed in 1956. Oh, wow. That's she used really cool. She used to work at the Duran, which was owned by the same people, mm -hmm. the Bonnie and the Duran. That's actually Back in the cool. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Where were we? hope you've enjoyed this episode of Globe Trotting with Trey. I want to give a special shout out to my friend Mika Matthews for taking care of business in a flash and capturing today's interview for this episode. And I also want to thank Miss Bain for this interview. We learned some more Elvis history. Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash was here January the 3rd, 1956. And back here where I'm showing you now is where that stage was. And Miss Bain also said there was a room where the performers would hang out in back in this area. So guys, I hope you, like I said, have enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like and share this with your friends and family members. I need this video to go to all millions of Elvis fans. They're out there, and I'm sure they all would enjoy learning about this. Unfortunately, since we filmed this episode, the Vine the restaurant has closed. I hate to report that, but it's the reality of these small restaurants and little small towns, these local restaurants and small towns. We have to support these restaurants because it's too tough to make it today. The prices are out of the roof with what they charge and then what you can charge people. And as you can see, there's not very many people in here eating at the time that I'm filming. And unfortunately, this cool place now had to close down. But the original floor is still here, as you see. Elvis was in the building. And hopefully, somebody will purchase this building and something else cool will be there. But support these local businesses and definitely a business that Elvis was at once upon a time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you down the road.